Alrighty, good morning everyone. Um, and it is a good morning today because I was told yesterday by my supplier that my two into one full system will be in any day now. So now we gotta ride the bike to work every day now because one of my techs there is gonna throw it on for me real quick because I don't wanna deal with it. But She's gonna sound mean. Now we just gotta get the front tire in and this bike's pretty much done. I do have a license plate relocation kit thing um, from Dean Speed. The only problem is that the light that goes to the plate, the, the plate illuminating light, that one, uh, the wire runs all the way up underneath the rear fender and it goes, I'm guessing, under the seat somewhere. But there's like this whole enclosure up underneath the fender where it's it's like a bunch of different pieces that come apart and go together in a weird way and they're kind of flimsy plastic. And uh, I started it and I just went, nah, I'm not doing this right now. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get one of my techs to print out a uh, schematic of how it comes apart. And that way I can see how I'm supposed to take it apart and not have to worry about breaking nothing. And then that'll be a project for some weekend or something because that's actually a little bit time consuming. Seems like I'm going to have to like take off the rear fender. I'm going to have to like take off the seat, which the seat isn't a big deal, but like the rear fender might be a little bit of a pain in the ass. Um, and then yeah, she's done after that. That's it. That's all we got left. So for the time being at least. I'm sure, I'm sure I'll get another, I'll get another um, itch to do some some do to do some modifications at some point but for right now i'm pretty happy there is something different about this bike but i'm not going to tell you guys what it is if you can see it and point it out good for you but if not well i'll reveal it at some point hmm it's pretty chilly out today i'm not gonna lie i think it's like it's 52 what the bike says it's 52 outside so i mean it's not freezing but it's not warm by any means um, I got like three layers on top, so my chest and arms are pretty warm. My fingers are freezing as always because I really need to get me some winter gloves. I just don't want to pay for winter gloves because they're freaking pricey. And we don't really, and it's hard to justify the cost of them even more so down here in Texas where we have a month of this weather. And like, mind you, this is still 50 degrees outside. <laughs> We're not even talking like super cold at the moment, so I don't even know if they, there will be very, very few occasions where those gloves will actually be useful. So I do have my eyes on one set, but I don't know. We'll see. It'll take me getting to work one day with very, very cold fingers and just saying, "Screw it, I'm getting them." Oh man. What are you gonna do that for? I just switch lanes. But it's exciting that the exhaust is gonna be in here pretty soon because I really thought I was gonna end up having to do the walk around without the exhaust and then having to like do it again. So it'll be nice that pretty much everything will be done on it. It'll be good to go. Oh man. I am excited, let me tell you. Hey, what are you doing? Stop it! V-twin is getting a little warm and it feels nice on the legs, let me tell you. I think this bike could be a very good winter bike. Um, I think all it is missing is some sort of wind protection. Um, and I, I really don't want to go with an Indian windshield for it because the Indian windshields all look like cop windshields. And I don't really want to roll around looking like a cop. So, I'm, I'm really hoping someone like Memphis Shades will come out with something, because I think it's their Road Warrior 
bearing that I kind of like. I think that would look pretty decent on this, and like in a when it's cooler outside or when I'm going on a longer trip. Don't have to keep it on all the time. I think they have like a quick release um, thing that you can get. So it's, I'm just gonna. I think I'm gonna call them and be like, "Hey, you guys planning on making some stuff for this bike or what? I want to buy it, and hopefully that'll entice them to do so." Even in sport mode, we're in, we're in uh, standard right now. Hey, I'm just gonna leave the visor down. We'll be all right. a bumpy road. I think it's warming up. Yeah, it is. It's 54 out, guys. It's officially, like, not cold, I guess. I think I need a smaller helmet, guys. Or maybe just like some new pads. This helmet fit great when I first got it, but I lost a little bit of weight since then, and uh, it's just ever so slightly loose now. It's like almost perfect, but not quite. Maybe I can just get like a, a thicker set of cheek pads for it or something. That might work. Plus, um, HJC is using these new cheek pads. Oh. <laughs> oh. HJC is using these new cheek pads in. Uh, in, I got just the newer versions of my helmet, uh, which are exactly the same version. They just, just the, the more recent ones that have come out. They've changed the pads in them. Uh, same model, same everything. I got the uh, Arfa 11 Carbon Pro, whatever. Um, same, same helmet. Just they've got different cheek pads in them. Those cheek pads feel pretty nice. So maybe I just need to get me a new set of cheek pads. Maybe that's all it's gonna take. God dang, I don't. Why is this road so bumpy? I guess I am going a little faster than I usually go down this road, so. It's that chill, it just like makes you want to run home or run, run to where you're going. Oh, my back's itching. Ah, yeah, there's no scratching that. There's no scratching that itch. It's just gonna be there. That's the worst when you're riding and you got a bunch of layers on and you can't get to, and you start itching somewhere. Ugh. Probably should pick up the pace just a little bit. I'm like right on the border of being late or being on time.
Sounds kind of good. to go in slow because I'm not going through tiny gaps someone with a trailer. There we go. I don't have to worry about all these people turning. I can just go around them. And voila. Oh, that was a big bump. I'm glad I stood up in time. Oh, we're getting to that part of the road, huh? And it's so backed up, I can't see anything ahead of me. It seems like a good lane to be in. Oh, there's a popo. I'm not doing nothing. I'm going to speed limit. get through guys we're bikers traffic's what we deal with best wet on this side I'm just going to get over oh that itch is back I forgot about it there for a little bit Just 
a little bit further forward there. Yeah, we're gonna be on time. We're gonna be just fine. that thing in front of me I don't know but those rims look real flimsy at least that one does I don't know if the rest looks like that uh, it doesn't seem to be the case uh, I guess that one's just a little donut why are you braking and the lights green stop it Fingers are cold. I didn't realize it till now. It's gonna warm them puppies up a little bit. Alright, let's green this up. We gotta be ready to go. How many miles am I at? 1742. Chilling. Let's chill it out. People, let's go. I guess you can't really go. We're good, we're good. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. I 
been getting pretty chilly. Uh, it still says it's 54, but I don't think so. I think it's, I think it might be just a little bit chillier out because of how dim it's gotten. There's no sun today, guys. But it says it's 1% for the rest of the day, so we shall see.